Recently, together with my developer, we created a script that goes every day in the morning to Seller Central and scrap all the topics and data and send it to me via email. By the way, if you're interested in getting this script, let me know in the comment section and I might create a pool of emails that I will be sharing this email daily with them as well. And you can enjoy the fruits of what I developed for free. Now, uh, one of the questions that I saw there is how to update your bullet points on your listings using flat file. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. What's up guys, this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com where I share with you videos, updates and tutorials about Amazon FBA and e-commerce. And everything that I share with you here is completely free. So please do me a favor and support my hard work by liking the video, sharing it with your friends and subscribe to the channel and all links that I'm going to mention in this video will be down below in the description section. Okay, so before we start, this is a reminder for those that are subscribed and watching this channel for a long time to join our Sourcing Monster Facebook group if you didn't join already. Uh, this is a great group where I'm trying to build a community of other and including myself, Amazon sellers to support each other and help each other grow. And I also try to share some things there that I don't share here from time to time. And of course, a way for you to engage with me and with others asking questions and getting answers. Now, let's start with uh, the explanation on how to actually update your bullets using flat file. And doing that will help you when you are stuck, when you actually go to inventory and uh, manage FBA inventory or manage inventory and you click edit and you just uh and it doesn't really work so sometimes a way to bypass this or uh work around is to go and do it through flat file so let me show you how to do it the first thing for you to go is to uh go to the menu inventory add product uh via upload uh, you know what, before I show you uh, how exactly I do it, if you uh, remember at the beginning of the d video, I mentioned that I created a script uh, that basically scrap all Seller Central data. So this is how it looks like. This is an email that I get daily with all the threads that happened, uh, uh, the last 10 threads for each sub forum. So general selling questions, uh, some questions and, and then a link so you can actually open and see how it is. So FBA uh, and FBM combined account. There are a couple of very, like this is very useful to keep myself up to date on the latest news and updates so I can uh, share them with you. And also from my uh, own learning curve and, and becoming a better seller. So uh, if you're interested in this, let me know in the comment section. I might create an email list that will send this every day or every few days uh, so you can enjoy this, uh, uh, you know, for free. I paid for these couple of hundreds of dollars uh, just to, you know, have uh, this system and automation thing. So I don't need to do it manually. Now, let's go back to the actual uh, like flat file, how to do it. So first you go to uh, inventory again, uh, then add a uh, product via upload. And then you go to this tab, download an inventory file. So first you have to find out which category you're selling on. So if you're selling hairbrush, you are going to, uh, and again, hairbrush is just an example that I like to use because it's easy. But let's say this is your product, right? And um, uh, you're going to go down to your product and find the exact category. Here it's hairbrushes. I'm going to put it here. Um, and uh, generate a template. Okay. So I already generated one, so it will help me just generate template. Now the prompt uh, download or open with will show. I uh, uh, open it with Excel, enable editing, and then we go here to uh, the templating. So here for the feed product, you're going to choose whatever is there already. For item SKU, you put your SKU. It's very important. Don't confuse it with ASIN. Now, usually when you copy it from Seller Central, it has an extra space at the end. So make sure that you remove it. The brand name will be also something you can choose. It will be your own brand name. The item name will be your product title. The manufacturer usually will be the same as the brand name. External product ID will be an ASIN. I, I mean, you can do some other stuff, but I like to choose ASIN and put ASIN here. Item type will be uh, pre-populated 
unit count depends on your product heat sensitive also depends on your product these things you don't have but those are mandatory fields and if you don't uh, save them the flat file will be rejected is uh, have an expiration date hairbrush doesn't have so we'll choose no then you scroll all the way here to uh, basic and update or delete you're going to choose update for and then scroll all the way to bullets here that's where you're going to uh, uh, put bullets so bullet description one bullet description two three four yeah etc you know then when you are done oh one more thing i suggest that you fill everything if you didn't watch some of my flat flat file videos i suggest that you actually go and fill every field that you can here why because you want to be the first contributor for that asin for that listing of yours you are the brand owner it's your own private label product and you don't want other people to contribute and be the first ones to contribute to a listing that's how amazon works and then you are stuck when i say you are stuck i mean that if you want to change it in the future it's gonna be big headache it's gonna be very hard now there are a couple of layers of contributors and there are uh, yeah, numbers so uh if i'm not wrong brand owner have 40 uh, uh rank on uh like as far as how you can update like the, the internal team of Amazon, they have 99%. So if they are the contributor, it's very hard to get rid of something. Uh, if I'm not wrong, catalog team, they have uh, 50%. So it goes by these tiers. Um, so, you know, don't leave anything that, you know, to other people to manage for you. Try to fill everything that you can here. Um, that's it. When you are done, just save the file. Save it in your computer. close it then go back to seller central and, in, and then go to this tab upload your inventory file after you click on it you're gonna browse and choose the file that you this is by the way a new interface which looks nicer than the previous one and it's important that you put uh, also the email alert here you put your own email because after you upload it it will send you a report after processing it it will tell you if it was processed successfully or if it was rejected with some errors. If it was rejected, then you can fix the errors. Usually they will give you the reason. Uh, sometimes it could be the wrong field or a mandatory field that you missed or some other uh, issues. Um, if you have any problem or issues that uh, you can definitely let me know in the comment section and I can uh, try to help you with that. And, and that's it, pretty easy. Usually with flat file upload, it takes much less time to actually show on the detail page on Amazon than a regular update. So that's another reason why you want to use it. Now, please, my friends, do me a favor and share this video with other people that might benefit from this video. It will help me grow the channel and I will really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.